media class. This is class number eight in our virtual dojo. We've got some stand-up review, but we're also going to be doing some self-defense. So stay tuned. All right, guys, put those feet together, hands by your side, say, sir. Bow for respect, hands up, fingers wiggle. Let's get all warmed up. Cool beans, let's get some wrist circles in there. Pretty good. Karate chops, good, good, good. Arm circles, big arm circles forward. Awesome. Arm circles backwards, here we go. Rocking out the skizzers, pretty good. Skizzering it up, some twist, twisting it on up. Good, good, good. It's a good one. Hands right here, bringing around town. Very good, bringing around old tiny town. Pretty good. Up on your tippy toes and back down. All the way up and back down all the way up one more time. Hold it on one foot, hold it on the other foot. Make those feet touch, say, sir. Bow for respect. 15 jumping jacks. Do them with me. Ready, set, go. One, sir. two, sir. three, sir. four, sir. five, sir. six, sir. seven, sir. eight, sir. nine, sir. ten, sir. 11, sir. 12, sir. 13, sir. 14, sir. 15, sir. <whistles> Open up those feet. Hands out in the front. 15 squats. All the way down, all the way back up. Ready? Get set. Go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. 14, sir. 15, sir. Good job, guys. Hands on the mat. Switch those feet back and forth for the mountain climbers. We've got 15 mountain climbers. Do them with me. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Awesome, awesome. Lay down on your backs. The reverse curls. Bend your knees, kick them all the way out. 15 reverse curls. Ready? Get set. Go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Feet on the mat. Hands in the prayer position. Belly's high in the sky for the straight bumps. All the way up, all the way back down. 15 of them. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. All right, guys, roll it over. Fifteen. Big band push-ups so all the way down, all the way back up. If you're feeling tough, try them on your knuckles. Get ready. Get set. Go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. All right, guys, let's stand it up. Make those feet touch. Say, sir. Out for respect. All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a lot of kicks. So let's stretch out those legs a little bit. Open your feet up. All the way, about three times shoulders width. Going down to the, down to the middle first, okay? All the way down. Count down from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Now go down to your left. Keep those legs straight. Count down from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch over to the other side. Count down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your hands to the middle. Walk your hands forward. Drop down your hips, chest up, stretching that lower back. Count down from 10, the old sprawl. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Keep those feet on the ground. Walk your hands all the way back. Try to reach past your heels. We're gonna reach as far as we can. Keep those legs straight. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, guys. Now, bring your feet together. One foot over the other. Just like this. Keep your legs straight. Reach down, try to touch your toes, okay? If you can't touch your toes, it's no problem, guys. Try to touch your shins or your knees. Ready? Reach down. Reach down, try to touch those toes. If you can't, get to your shins. Keep your legs straight. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up. Switch. Other side. All the way down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One. Very good, guys. Squat down, sit on your butts. Let's get the butterfly stretch. This is a good one. Bring those feet in. Grab underneath your feet. Push your elbows into your inner thighs. And get those legs to the mat, okay? Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Take one leg. Stretch it straight out. Take your other leg. Place your foot on the other side, right by your knee. Grab that leg, you're gonna hug it tight. Try to make your knee touch your chest. Just like this. Keep your back straight, count down from 10. 10, nine, make sure you're breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now, slowly get out of there. Whoop. Other side, this leg steps over. Hug your knee tight to your chest. Keep your back straight. Counting down from 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Go ahead and stand it up, guys. Shake it out a little bit, get the wiggles out. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now I want you guys to jump into your active stance, hands up, say Kia, good. Hands are up on your cheeks. Strong action stance. Very good. We're gonna practice our one through six punches. So you're in your stance. Just the number one first. We're gonna hold it straight out and we're gonna do it five times. Hands up, ready? One, bring it back. Good. Two, bring it back. Three, bring it back. Four, make sure you're breathing. And last one, five, bring it back. Very good. Now we've got the one punch. Now we're gonna follow it up with the number two punch. Practice just the number two. Spin your back toes, hands on your cheeks. Ready, up, bring it back. Ready, two, bring it back. Three, bring it back. Four, bring it back. Last one, five, bring it back. On that number two punch, guys, make sure you're spinning your toes. This isn't a very strong number two punch. Look at the number one and look at the number two. The number one's a little bit further. You know how you make them even? By spinning your toes. Whoop, look at that. This one's even further than the number one, okay? So make sure you spin those toes. If you don't, when you hit them with the number one punch, you're not gonna be able to reach them with the number two. You gotta turn your body, okay? So now let's put them together. We've got the one followed by the number two. Hands up on your cheeks. When I say hop, give me a one, two. Ready? Hop, shh, shh. Good, again. Hop, shh, shh. Hop, shh, shh. Two more. Last one, best one, ready? Hop, shh, shh. Very good, switch your feet. Kia. This hand's the number one. Hold it straight out, bring it right back. Five times, ready? One, shh, back. Two, shh, back. Three, shh, back. Four, shh, back. Last one, five, shh, and back. This is the number one. This hand's the number two. Spin those toes. We see that number two, ready? Hop, shh, back. Back, two more, hop, shh. back, last one, hop, shh. back. Now, let's put them together. Same idea, if you don't spin your toes, this one's not as long, spin those toes, okay? Hands on your cheeks, give me the one, two, ready? Hop, shh, shh. 
Again. Hop. Shh, shh. Good. Hop. Shh, shh. Very good. Two more. Hop. Shh, shh. Last one, best one. Hands up. Spin your toes. Good punches. Ready? Hop. Shh, shh. Very good. Switch your feet. Back to action stance number one. Hands on your cheeks. Looking tough. We've got our one, two punches. Now let's go around the side for those hook punches. The three and the four. Practice just the number three first. Front foot, make sure you spin your toes, just like this, okay? Kind of like we're gonna do the stretch in the beginning. How you guys spin just like this and you spin your toes. It's the same thing as a hook punch. Now I'm just in a stance. That's all it is. So now, hands are up on your cheeks. Practice just the number three, five times, ready? One, step right in front of your nose. Don't go past your nose, good. Two. Three, four, last one, five. Now look guys, see how my wrist and my elbow are in a straight line? You don't wanna throw your hook punch and bring your elbow down. And you don't want your elbow to be up. You wanna be right in the middle. You want your wrist and elbow in a straight line. Just like that, okay? Now the number four punch. Spin your back toes, give me that number four, and you bring it right back. Do it again. Right back. Three more. Ready? Hop. And back. Hop. And back. Last one. Hop. And back. Very good. Switch your feet. Action stance number two. Lead hand for the number three. Spinning your lead foot. Three. And then we've got the four. Okay? So your hands are up. Give me that three. And back. Give me the three. And back. Good. Again. Good. Again. Good, last one, ready, hop, very good. Now the back hand, the number four, and bring it back, okay? Hands on your cheeks, ready, one, and back, two, and back, three, and back, four, and back, and last one, five, and back, very good. Switch your feet, last set, the five and the six, your hands are up. The five and the six are just like the three, and the four. Watch my feet. When I throw my three, I spin my toes. Now watch this. What's that look like? A number five, right? Same motion. Spin my toes on the three. I spin my toes on the five. Okay, so let's practice that out. Front hand first. Give me the number five. Ready? Five. And back. Five. And back. Three more. Hop. Hop. Last one. Hop. Very good. Rear hand. Same idea, just like the four. Spin my toes, whoop, that's the number five. Let's do it. Ready, one, two, three, good, keep going. Four, last one, five, very good. Now, switch your feet, last set. This, hand, this leg's in the front, this hand's in the front, that means this is number five. Five, six, five, six. Hands on your cheeks, ready? Hop, good, just the number five, let me see. Hop, good, again. Hop, good, two more. Hop, last one. Hop, very good. Now, spin your toes on the back foot. Give me that number six. Hands on your cheeks, ready? Hop, good, again. Hop, good. Hop, two more. Hop, last one. Hop, very good. Shake it out. Okay guys, now get in your action stance number one, hands on your cheeks. We're gonna review the one through six punches, okay? Now, we're not gonna pause in between. We're gonna throw all six punches. Boom, 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 boom. Now notice, every time I punch, my belt's swinging in the wind because I'm turning my body. Make sure you guys are turning your body. That's how you get the power. You won't have any power if you just punch like this. Okay, you gotta use your, you gotta use your legs. You gotta bend your knees, turn your toes, okay? Hands on your cheeks, let's practice it out. One through six punch, five times. Ready? One. Do it again. Up. Good. Hands up. Up. Two more. Up. And last one. Up. Switch feet. Action stance number two. This hand's in the front. This is the number one, this is the number two, and the rest of the punches should come easy, okay? Hands on your cheeks. One through six punches, bend your knees. Ready, hop. 
Good, make sure this is the number one. That foot's in the front, so this hand has to be number one. Whatever foot's in the front, the same hand is all odd numbers. One, three, five. That means the rear hand is even numbers. Two, four, six, okay? So let's do the whole combination. Hands on your sheets. Through, let's do four more sets. Ready, hop. Good, three more sets, hands up. Hop. Good, hands up, ready, hop. And last one, hands on your cheeks, ready, hop. Very good. All right guys, now we're gonna work on our kicks a little bit. Get into that action stance number one, hands on your cheeks. We're gonna do all the kicks on the front leg. Then we're gonna switch our feet, do all the kicks on the front leg on this side and then we'll get into our side kick review, okay? So, get your hands up, action stance number one. Take your back toes, spin them back towards the back. Front leg's gonna lift up for that round kick. Make sure you're kicking higher than your belt. Hands on your cheeks, ready? One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, Nine, last one, 10. Very good. Now, my toes are facing the back. I'm gonna spin them just a little bit to where they're facing the side. Now, since they're facing the side, we're gonna switch to a push kick. And for our push kick, get into your, act, get into your cat stance. Your front foot is gonna tap the floor just like this. All your weight should be on this back foot. I'm gonna lift my knee straight up, and I'm gonna throw it straight out, kinda of like I'm kicking down the front door. My knee comes up, foot goes out for that push kick. You got 10 push kicks, do them with me. Hands up, ready? One, good, tap those toes. Two, very good, keep tapping those toes. Three, hands up. Four, good. Five, good, keep going. Six, very good. Seven, good, three more. Eight, and nine, last one, best one. 10, very good. Now, switch your feet. Whoop. Action stance number two. We've got the round kicks first. Take those back, take those back toes, spin them back towards the back. Front leg lifts up for that round kick. Hands stay on your cheeks. Ready? One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, good, hands up. Eight, nine, and 10. Good guys. Now, little piece of advice. When you guys are kicking to the air, you don't have to kick super hard, okay? If you kick really hard, you get out of your stance, okay? All we're working on is technique right now. The power will come later. Power will come when you're hitting the bags, not when you're hitting your partner. Okay? So make sure when you're practicing at home and you're practicing to the air, do it slow and under control. Okay? I don't need to see your power right now. I just want to see amazing technique. So now let's switch to the push kick. Back foot, spin your toes to the side. Front foot, tap on those toes. Knee comes straight up, foot goes straight out, and right back. One, very good, hands up. Two, good. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Very good. Now, getting to our techniques of the day, the old side kicks. Okay? So, what I want you guys to do, get in a side kick stance. Side kick stance is like you're riding a skateboard. My feet are in a straight line, and my toes are facing the opposite direction of my partner. Okay? So, I've got my side kick stance. My body is facing this way, but I want my head facing this way, just like this, okay? We're gonna do the static side kick first. Static means we're not moving, we're staying right here. Front leg lifts up, straight out for that side kick and bring it right back. Knee comes up, foot goes out, and put it right back, okay? 10 side kicks, ready? One, good, two, three, four, five, Six, good. Seven, eight, keep going. Nine, 
Last one, 10. Very good. Keep the same stance. Now we're gonna do a slide up side kick, okay? The slide up side kick, we're gonna be in our stance. We're gonna take our front foot, take a little step. Our back foot's gonna slide up. Now when you slide up, look at my foot. I turn it to the side and put my heel connected to the little arch of my foot right here, okay? So watch. Slide up, put it right next to your arch, bend your knee, side kick, and slide back, okay? This is a very effective move if your partner's really far away. If I want to cover distance, slide up, side kick, just practice it out. Hands on your cheeks, ready? One, and back. Two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, and back. Now, watch this. We did the slide up. Now, to cover even more distance, we'll do a step behind, okay? So the slide up, I don't cross my feet. So the step behind, whoop, it's kind of like a karaoke dance. The old karaoke shuffle in football, just like that. But we're only doing one karaoke, karaoke step. Step, side kick, and back. Step behind, side kick, and back. We've got five more, let me see. Hands on your cheeks. Step behind, side kick, good. Step behind, side kick, good. Step behind, side kick, good. Three more. Step behind, side kick, two more. Step behind, side kick, last one, best one, hands on your cheeks, let me see. Step behind, side kick, very good. All right guys, now we're gonna switch and go to the other side. So now we're in our side kick stance with our right leg in the front. The first round is just gonna be the static round, okay? So you lift your knee up, hold it straight out for that side kick. Hands on your cheeks, we're gonna do 10 side kicks with the front leg. Hands up, ready, one, good. Two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, very good. Now we've got the slide up side kick, okay? Same idea as the other side. I slide up, turn my foot back, side kick, put it right back in the back, just like this. Slide up. Side kick, put it right back. Just like this. Five times, do it with me, ready? Slide up, side kick, put it back. Cover that distance. Slide up, side kick, put it back. Three more. Slide up, side kick, very good. Slide up, side kick, good. Let me get one more good one. Slide up, side kick. Now, we did the slide up. Now let's do the step behind, side kick. Same idea, just this time. Instead of stepping next to your foot, step behind your foot, okay? Hands on your cheeks, let's try it out. Step behind, side kick, put it back. Do it again, that was number one. Step behind, side kick, two, good. Step behind, side kick, that was three. Keep going. Step behind, side kick, that's four, last one, make it a good one. Step behind, side kick. Very good, guys. Okay, guys, we just got done reviewing our side kicks. We did the static side kick, the slide up side kick, and the step behind side kick. Now we're gonna work on a little self-defense, okay? So I've got my partner, Coach Gears. If at this time you have a partner that can train with you, grab them really quick, either a parent or a sibling, grab them and bring them over, okay? Now, parents, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna work on the headlock self-defense. Coach Gears is gonna come up, kind of like a schoolyard bully, and he's gonna reach around and hug my neck, like he's gonna give me a nugget. Now once I'm here, I wanna set my feet first. I wanna get a good base, okay? So I dig my feet into the floor, that way he can't really drag me around. Now, once I'm here, the outside hand, the hand that's behind his back, is gonna reach up and find his jawline with my thumb down, just like this. My other hand, the free hand, is gonna go on top of that hand and start pushing. When I start pushing, I'm gonna step back into an action stance, and this should loosen up his grip. I step back, just like this. If he still got my, if he still have his, has his hand here, I kinda just turn my shoulder to get him off. Now my hands are up and I'm ready to defend myself, okay? That was the first rep. Let's do it a couple more times. He grabs my head. I get a good base. Hand comes on the jawline. Other hand comes up, pushes, and I step back into a stance. If he still got my neck a little bit, I just torque my shoulder and my hands are up. Okay? Let's do that one more time. This time, do it on your own, kiddos. Boom, push, step. Frame, pop the shoulder, hands up. Pretty good. So that's the first one. That's if they come up and grab your head. Now let's say they come around and reach 
right around your belly, just like this, kind of like they're going to tap you down. Now, same idea as the first one. You want to get a good base first. So I get my strong base, boom, that way he can't drag me around. I take my hand that's closest to his back, find the jawline, my other free hand does the same exact thing. I push and step back to an action stance. Boom, he's still got my body a little bit. I kind of just slide back with my hand out like a stiff arm. Now my hands are up, ready to go, okay? Two more times, let's try that. He hugs, I get a good base, <clears throat> jaw line, other hand pushes, step back and break the grip. One more time. Do it on your own, kiddos, they hug. Frame the face, get a good base. Push the face, step back, ready to go. Job. Okay, now, let's say the bad guy grabs our neck and tries to knee us right in the face. Now, first thing you wanna think about, I don't wanna duck my head down and try to sneak out, because his knee is gonna go right into my cranium, that's no fun. So, I don't wanna duck my head out, I wanna get a good base like the other two. I get a good base, now he can't pull my head down. It's gonna be really hard for him to knee me in the face. Now, take my hand, put it right underneath his chin, thumb down, other hand comes up, push his head back, wherever the head goes, the body's gonna follow. So if I push his head back, his body's gonna go with him. And I can slide right on back in my action stance. Okay, so let's do it again. He grabs my head. Don't duck. Hips in strong, strong base. Hand goes on the chin, push. Step back, if you're still holding on, just pop that shoulder. Boop. Just like that, okay? Let's do one more, try it out. He grabs my neck. Hand comes over the top. Other hand on top, push and step back. Boom, ready to go. Just like that, guys, okay? So, anytime they come up and grab you, whether it's the head or the body or the neck, whatever you do, you make sure you get a good base first. If I don't have a good base, he's just gonna drag me around. I'm never gonna be able to push him around, push him off of me, okay? So make sure, as soon as he grabs, strong base. Now if he tries to push me, I'm not going anywhere. Woo. Boom! Just like that. Awesome job, guys. All right, Junior Jabbers, today's mat chat is talking about courage, okay? Courage is kind of like being brave. Now, if you guys are in a self-defense situation, would you want to just cower down and get scared and not want to fight back? No, you want to fight back. In self-defense, you have to have a lot of courage, okay? Sometimes you might be scared. You might get the butterflies. You might get shaken a little bit. You got to fight through and you got to have a lot of courage, okay? It's kind of like going to King's Island. Maybe, you, maybe you're afraid to ride the Diamondback, but... Maybe you get enough courage and you ride it and you like it, or you might not like it, but still, you had the courage and you tried your best and you were brave to get on that ride, okay? So make sure you guys are using courage in your everyday life, whether it's at school, whether it's at home, whether it's going to King's Island and uses of courage to ride some rides, whatever it is, always use strong courage, guys, okay? But stand it up. Make those feet touch, hands by your side and say, sir, bow for respect.